All right, so you guys, we're gonna dig in now and do a look at, hang on a second. Okay. All right, so we're gonna dig in now and take a look at all of the build items in Echo Lifestyle. So we'll see if we can get through all of that today um, and then hopefully move on to the buy items as well. Uh, and then probably do CAS tomorrow. Because so I'm very excited to, to dig into all of this. So let's do it, let's do it. I'm gonna build some walls first just so I have something to put things on. And then up here, I'm going to build, actually, hang on. I'm just going to build a couple buildings just in case there's roofing, things like that, that I want to play with. I like to have those ready. Okay. I'm very excited about this. This is what you came for. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. This is my favorite part. I love this. Um, I, when I go to Sims camp, they all laugh at me because I spend so much time going through each and every item in the pack, uh, and, and don't do any gameplay, any building, anything like that. But this is my favorite thing to do. So this is what I do. And this is what you guys get to enjoy. So, okay. Packs. We're going to come and just say Echo Lifestyle. And we're going to start here. We'll start with the columns. So we have steel columns. There you go, James. The steel columns will work for you. Oops. We'll do each color. Especially now that we can resize all the columns. You still love that there's even Sims Camp. Yeah, that Sims Camp was was a great experience. I'm lucky that I got to go to two of them. I've been to a couple other capture events. I do the same thing too. I waste all my time at the capture events doing this. I mean, hours. So that's why I was like, I don't know how much we'll get through in today's stream. It just depends on how many items are in here. Those columns are gorgeous. I'm really excited about these steel girders. I wonder if there's any possibility we would get like horizontal ones that we could use like in roof, like in you know, using move objects, kind of place them in a faux roof situation. I know, but wouldn't it be great to have them like laying down? Actually, let's look over here first. Okay, these are the fences. Ooh, we got 12 colors in the fences. Are we gonna do a voice chat in Discord? No, not today. I mean, you guys can do a voice chat in Discord. I'm not sure how I feel about this fencing. What do you guys think of that? I guess it's going to be kind of... I don't know. 
I just don't know how I feel about that. Not gonna lie. I'm more excited about this, honestly. I love the design of this. Hi, True Gaming Editor. How are you? It looks more like a half wall. Yeah, it does kind of look like a half wall. It would work. I mean, that would definitely play out and work well. Yeah, the chat is not very active today. You're right, it's not. It's because we're all engrossed. Digging into the new Sims 4 pack. Ooh, look how tall that is. Medium waffle. Oh wait, hold, hold up, wait. What one, oh. Like which one am I placing? I like the height of this. Kind of curious to see how tall the other one is. Ugh. I can see some really interesting creations being made just with these fences. I am apparently struggling laying them down. I love the height. We've never had any fencing that's this tall, have we? James, I want to see what you build with that. All right. Have a good lurk, Tim. Have a good lurk, Lunar. All right. So we have no fence doors that go with that. Mm, we have a hand railing to match that fence but no new stairs. Mm, let's do this. I'm not going to go through all the colors, but I'm sure the swatches all match because there's 12, so it probably matches exactly what we have for the walls. Yeah, I think they should have had like a new staircase to go with that, but I mean, I do think it'll go well enough with the staircases that we have, and we don't know what wall coverings they've given us yet. And then we do have these ladders. Mm, 
I thought, wait, can we not put them outside the houses? Oh, there we go. Ooh, I love that we have colorful ones. I know I am I'm probably more stoked for ladders in this than I am for anything else, Nari. I am not gonna lie. And mostly because of tiny houses. I know I sound like a broken record when I'm always like tiny house, tiny house, but I love building tiny houses, and when you can't build them the way you want to build them, it gets frustrating. Now I can build like tiny caravans, and I'm very excited. I really thought we'd get something like this in the tiny living pack. I do love that they gave us so many colors. So many tiny houses I have that I want to go back and like redo now. Kids can get a proper tree house. You're right. Oh my gosh, Nari. That's a great, great point. Hi, M. Pim. How are you? Hi, Sim Pim. How are you? No one knows who you are. I know who you are. You changed your name, but I know who you are. Welcome back. I don't love that we have to have these bits on these um, ladders, but we have ladders, so I'm not going to complain too hard or too loud. Um, okay, so we've done that, that. Do we have anything here? Nope. We have awnings. And it looks like just the metal changes color, so I won't put all of them out. But you can see the color swatches there. And then same with this. I'm not going to put all of them out. Since it's literally just the wood colors. Wait, is that an awning too? A fawning awning. That's cool. That right there would be perfect on like... Um, a mobile home or something. And then this just looks like it's a bigger version of this one. So we have the awning of transparency and then the awning of wider, wider transparency. I like those awnings though. You're still here, Evie? Thank you, love. Oh, you need to verify? That means you need to verify the email address that's associated to your Twitch account so that you can type. <gasps> Crap, why is everything sticking to this? I'm so sorry, you guys, if I broke your eardrums. Well, that's a good thing to do, Evie, or Sam. All right, do we have any new roofing? We do. Okay, let's put on the roof. Let's raise the roof and put on the roof.
take a look at the new roofing. Did we have, we had four new roofs though, didn't we? Or roof textures. Might have to. Just make a copy. Oh, that's right. I forgot all about this. We've got the living roof. So we actually can have grass. They didn't give us like though, like a flat roof, did they? I guess, I guess technically we have a flat roof. But can we, we can't. Yeah, so I don't understand that, but I guess we could just do grass. Or that. <laughs> we have flowers. And really dark grass. Kind of like the really dark grass. You wish they had a translation wall? What's that, Evie? It was your birthday, Sim. Happy birthday. Heavy metal paneled roof. Oh, I like that. Excuse me. <laughs> I knew that was coming. My air conditioning must have just kicked on. Oh my gosh. I love this roof. We can make circus tents now. So that's a thing. A tran I don't know what I don't know what you're trying to say, Evie. Oh my god. We can really do Animal Crossing houses now, you guys. That'll look good with containers. And then we have the corrugated metal sheet. That's it in pink. This kind of looks very similar to what we got in Island Living. Just curious what these colors look like in a different lighting. Oh, see-through walls. Um, I have been asking for glass walls for as long as I've been a game changer. Um, I really want a glass wall for like um, greenhouses, sunrooms, things like that, where I don't have to use just a bunch of windows, but actually can just have a panel. I can just pull out the wall and it be glass. And I'm hoping one day, one day, I give it, I give that feedback constantly. I really, it's my one big dream. I want glass walls. <laughs> keep fighting the good fight. I will, I will keep, I will keep fighting the good fight. <laughs> All right, and these are solar panels. So using these, we actually get a power production rating. I didn't notice that. I wasn't even paying attention to these. The living roof gives you water production rating. Then we get an echo footprint on these other ones. I love bits. Yes, I do. Ethan, I you sweet, you. but we only speak English up in here. Thank you for those bits. 
Um, hold on. I wanted to see something in base game. Okay, so do you guys see um, each, each, well, some of the roofs, I should say, have like a new echo or eco footprint and environmental gain rating to them. It looks like a lot of them. Uh, the The composite roof is a build discount item. Interesting. I it I do believe we are gonna find some solar power, some solar panels in here, um, but we do have the solar roof. So that is. I almost kind of want to do another like off the grid challenge or something. I did, I started a rags to riches that was kind of off the grid um, back after, after um, Island Living came out. But it was a little hard to do because things that should have worked off the grid didn't. But now that they've fixed so much of that. I wonder if you have like a multi-part house with multiple roofs, if you use these solar, the solar roofing for part of the house, if how much gain you'll get from that. We'll have to kind of dig into that when we do some gameplay. And you can gather water from home lot water features if you live off the grid. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. You're mad that you couldn't play with me on school days because when you were live, when I was live, you had to go to sleep. Well, are you out of school now, Sim? Because yay! Happy, happy. Yeah, so this is a roof, not panels here. But I think we'll dig, when we dig deeper, I think we'll find that we have panels. So we'll see. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure the only panels we used to have were in the debug. But now I'm pretty sure we have real panels. Oh, speak of the devil. I just found them. Okay, so here's the solar panels. And we can place them flat on the ground like that. But I believe you can also place them on the roofs. And they do come in a, in a bunch of colors too. I won't, I won't put them all out, but I'll just cycle through them. I like the colors. A chic chimney. So we got a new chimney. Doesn't look like it has any eco benefit, except it looks nice. So I'll just cycle through again. Be nice. This one will be really nice for like mo real modern houses. And then we have a wind turbine for the roofs as well. So we'll, might, we'll make this our echo house. Wait. Is it, can it only go on flat roofs? I mean, we can move it. I have well, I have move objects on, so I can put it on anything. But looks like it's made just for flat roofs. I still remember you and your tacos, Sim. Yes, I do. Hi, Sil. Welcome back. So let's cycle through the. Oh, that's kind of cool. We'll cycle through the colors of these. Oh, I like that one. So, and that says that you get an echo foot, an eco footprint green three, power production three, environment one. So you could like load up your house for sure. All right, so that's roofs. Do we get any new trim? No trim. Okay, we did get, oh, yay. I mean, this won't work inside the houses, I don't think. But we did get 
a beam trim. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. All right, let's try this trim. So, just curious. So I guess technically we could make it work if we get rid of the second floor, but there's no way to really like use it inside the houses. So I'm hoping we'll have some beams and maybe debug or something. Who won Survivor yesterday? I won Survivor yesterday, but only because they all cheated. Stream avatar is just a little, a little thing that you get when you talk in the chat. Your little avatar gets to hang out. There's some games and stuff we do with that. All right. So before we go to doors and windows, let's go to wallpapers and look at what we have. So, and again, I'm not going to do every color. Um, I'll do this and then I'll cycle through just so we can see the different colors. Or actually, maybe I'll do it a different way. Let's do this just so we can see them all next to each other. I'll just do one panel. Because I kind of like to see them laid out. I love this. Those are really pretty. If you put the little fence, the one Sims can walk over it. It should work as a beam. But you know what I'm kind of talking about? I mean, I guess, uh, you know how like when you have like a really industrial, like you go into a loft and they have the big beams now that we have the fencing or the posts that are these beams and then we have the trim that's this beam i want just a piece of these that we can put on like with move objects on our ceilings to kind of give that industrial feel i don't know i'm probably dreaming but hi lily how are you you're happy today because in your stream in your third day people came Yay, that's awesome, Lily. But put the trim on it. Okay, let's let's try that together, James. Um, at some point, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, this is that um, siding we saw in that one house, or the, the wallpaper we saw in the one house I really liked. The lighting sucks on this side of the house, but. Oops. Why can't you change your Twitch user, Lunar? The fence will be there. You can put the beam on it. Oh, so wait. Okay, hold on, James. So, James, you're saying. to do something, let's just use this fence. So I could use this fence and then put that trim. Is that what you're saying? So how would I do that? Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to build a house. Kind of. Alright, I got a house. Now I'm going to build a fence. Okay. Go to the trim and put the trim on the fence. Oh, so I probably have to do... I don't know how that would work. <coughs> it should clip to it. But it needs to be up on this floor, I think, right? Oh, but I could do that. I think I, I think I got this. Kind of a roundabout way, but I think I just figured that out. It's doing it only on the outside. I was thinking I could get it to clip to it and then I could take down the um, walls and stuff and it would be there. We'll have to mess around with that off stream. Let's see if I can figure out what you're talking about. Because I'm not quite the builder you are. <laughs> so, so, I'm sure you have tricks up your sleeve that I can only guess at. All right, so back to the walls. This is the full panel of the one we just did. I am so excited to finally have really good wood walls. All right, Nari, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. We're going to have exposed beams if it's the last thing we do. Or we're going to start bugging the gurus for them. <laughs> but yeah, I've been so, <clears throat> so many times I want to do wood paneling in the house and we just do not have good wood paneling. And now we have good wood paneling. I'm very excited. Sorry for the lighting on this lot. All right, and this is clean slate. Well, I like that. That'll be nice outside for an exterior. Okay, have a great have a great meal, James. We'll see you when you get back here. <gasps> Ooh, rusted iron. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And plaster? We have some two tone plaster. Some more like adobe kind of feel.
These will go good with I'm Living, too. I love all the bright colors. Hi, Carl, or Carla, how are you? Put an emoji if you've changed your username. I have never changed mine. Your sting pump? Yes. Yes. You have to change the pirate ship and add that. It is so perfect. I am saving, of course, the best for the last. Because you know me, I am ready to make a container house. And here is our container wallpapers. Oh my God, I can't believe we have 12 swatches. You can make like a whole container park. A tiny house park full of container houses. <gasps> Wait, what was the name of the movie oh my god what was the movie that just came out like last year or the year before with the video games ready player one we could actually build a ready player one neighborhood did any of y'all ever see it could you imagine all the stacked container houses oh my god that would be so flipping cool Mm, mm. I, I mean, look at this. This is just, we haven't even dug into doors and windows and flooring yet. And look at all the colors we have. I'm so excited. All right, let's do some flooring. We're going to build a Ready Player One town. <laughs> oh my God, I know with the ladders, we now have the containers. gonna make it a reality we're gonna make it a reality guys you did it bit oh my god oh my god congratulations bit you're a braver woman than I oh this is all the flooring we only got wait no I was about to say we only got two floorings all right so we've got container flooring that they're calling calling layered flooring And this looks just like, of course, the roofing that we got, which is good. The roofing, the siding, we can go all out. Though I would probably tend to just do concrete flooring in my container houses. If you guys ever want to see really cool container houses um, on YouTube, I believe it is. I can't remember the name of the guy that I watch. But he does like tiny houses and he visited this really cool like container this like big house it's a big house they made but they made it out of a bunch of containers and it's really really a cool layout and kind of just made me fall in love with it zat thank you zat bat for that follow how are you today welcome the kids can't play they're done you're like okay you had your chance Time's up. You stopped playing. It's mom's game now. All right. So there's all of that flooring. Whoops. One of these things is not like the other. I think I like this better than the first flooring. The stacked I would probably use for like um, a bowling alley carpet. It kind of looks like that. Really funky colors. Tiny houses in Sims? Yeah. 
But no, the person I'm talking about actually builds like or visits visits real tiny houses. Like real life tiny houses. Alright, so with the grass flooring, it matches the roofing, which is really nice. I'm glad that they gave us this as flooring as well as roofing because you know what that means? And it even has the echo footprint in it. Um, it means that if we don't do a roof, a roof, we do just a flat top, we can still put this down. So that's pretty freaking cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna do like little boxes of this because the design's really cool. So. Let's see if we can get the colors to show. They're kind of blown out a little bit, the lighter ones. You're going to redo your hanging garden house with this stuff too? I mean, there's so many things. And I always say I'll go back and redo them, but I'll probably end up just build new, building new. This, this wood flooring, though, is gorge. Oh, my God. I'm never going to use any of the other woods in the game. This is beautiful. Oh, I have wanted this good color and texture in so many builds. And I always go and look like, is it going to be there? And it's not there. That and the white wood that I use that I think is from Cats and Dogs. I use that one a lot. Wait, did I already do this one? I think I did. Yep. Ooh, and look at that gray. Sloppy paint. Yes, that's like my favorite one. You think the gallery broke? What do you mean? Is it down? My spots. I know. I know. I know this one has a bigger gap, but you see how I, you see how I balanced it. So this has a bigger gap. These are all together and then these are all balanced. So in my mind, my mind can deal with this bigger gap right here. It's just very weird. I, I had to do that on purpose. Can I check your gallery? My shows up with nothing. Um, yeah, but let me finish, let me finish going through this stuff and then I'll check it. Cause it could just be down getting ready for the big release tomorrow. All right. So we've done floors, we've done walls. I think we've done, oh wait, we haven't looked at any of this. So let's see if there's any new. Okay, we have new concrete. So that's interesting. So we have a new concrete, which is called pristine concrete. And then we have quarry gray. The quarry gray kind of glows. Like it's hype, hype, hype. What do they call that? Uh, Oh, I can't think what's, the, you know, how, I don't even know. I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but like, you know, when you've been around something like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like radioactive. That's the word I'm looking for. It kind of looks radioactive. See how it kind of glows in the dark. Hypersensory? No, I don't know big words like that bit. <laughs> the drywall gives a negative buff. I did not know that. I did not. That's crazy. 
Cause I, I, but I always get rid of, I always get rid of drywall. I always paint, even if I'm just doing a house, just to put up in the gallery that's empty. I always paint it. I don't know why, but I'm kind of a nut like that. Okay, so let's look at the doors and windows. I saved the best for last. So just enough door. Look how tall it is. We'll start off doing the swatches. I don't know if I'll do it for everyone. These would be great apartment doors or like townhouse doors. We have 12 swatches. Of course, I only made my, my wall 11 long. There we go, all 12 doors. Why can't apartments be saved to the gallery? I don't know, I don't know. I, I really have never quite figured that out. Um, especially since it works with the, you know, just doing it as a room. So I don't know. I really like these doors. I could definitely see like row houses using those. All right, this is a whole lot of door. So this was just enough door. This is a whole lot of door. Whoops. Wait, what happened? Crap, I messed up somewhere. Why is this one door? That was weird. Okay, I messed up on color somewhere. You restarted the game is still doing that, Evie? It might be, it might be down because of tomorrow. I totally screwed up the color swatches. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'm going to have to start all over. <laughs> Just one more excuse to look at these beautiful doors. And this one cannot go next to itself. It must be because of that other door. Is there only 11 swatches on that? No, there's 12. What swatch am I missing? That's the same as the first one, right? So I'm definitely missing a swatch, but I don't know which one it's, which one's missing. Oh, it's not. It's very similar to the first one, but it's not. Okay, it's a lighter wood. Nice, Syl. No, I don't think you broke it, Evie. I think I think it's I think it's something for the update. All right, this is the cut cut crease door, and this one has wow, fifteen swatches. Uh-oh. I 
accidentally did two of one. Boom. <laughs> the power. I have so much power. <laughs> All right, let's look at the back of it. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. I love this door. That would be, that, this looks like a greenhouse door to me. You don't like it? I like it. I think this door, like I can, I'm totally having like visions of greenhouses with that though. All right. And then this one has 12 swatches also. This looks very like 70s. These are such unique doors. I'm not going to lie. I need more walls. <laughs> I did not even line that up at all. Pick up the wall, pick up the wall. Oh, now it's not going to fit? what I get for wanting to do all 12 together. <laughs> Your school did have 70s looking doors. I mean, the front of these don't look very 70s, but if you when you turn around and you see the back and it's that solid door with the two lines, that totally throws me back. When we were house hunting where we live now, so many of these houses were built in the 70s and that is like the feel I was getting. Well, thank you, Jack Preston. I did not. Hi, banana. Okay, so let me pull this wall. So I think we've only made it through four doors. Guys, we got a lot of doors in this pack. We may have to do a second story. Why well, won't let me put the... Oh well. Door hype. I know so many doors. Okay. This is the container door. I want to make a wall. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what I'm going to do with that one. I don't know how wide it is. But I'm guessing it's going to be about that wide. So we'll see. Not going to lie in love with this pack already. I know. You're very welcome, Katie. It's my pleasure. Thank you for indulging me as I 
I feed, oh, oh, I didn't even do it wide enough, but thank you for indulging me while I feed my obsession for all things The Sims. All right, so that is what the container doors are going to look like. You can see a future challenge coming, guys. It's going to be containerific. Not going to lie. I would buy this pack just for these. Just for containers. Actually, let me put all of the container colors together because they're just so pretty. <laughs> Evie, hashtag I'm dying inside. <laughs> oh good, Nari checked hers. Nari's is working. All right, and then this is not the door you've been looking for. But wait, these are steel doors, y'all. These are steel doors for inside our container houses. And the only difference is the interior trim. So let me put one on this wall so we can look at it. So you can see the color right there. That's where the difference is coming in on these doors. Oh my god, I cannot wait <laughs> to make container houses. Oh my gosh. Ah, come back. Okay, I did six. Okay. Like, I had to like fudge this when I was doing it um, when I did my other container house and this had this door itself would have been so helpful and I'm really hoping when I go look at the different door sizes <laughs> that we have it bigger which we do yay <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, this pi this pack is worth the price of admission just for these doors. This is crazy. George, thank you for that follow. This is crazy. Pointless renovation, now in steel. Ugh. Here, I'll quickly show you. I don't even think I'm online, so let's connect. Nope. Oh, yep. And it just, it's a little slow. But it's working. Alright, and then these are all doors too. So let's... I'm not going to go through every swatch of these on all of them. We'll just do one because it looks like they're all the same swatches, just different sizes. So we have slide to the sl slide to the slide, slide to the slide, slightly more vertical, slide to the slide, a wide slide to the slide. A wide slide to the slide, slightly more vertical. <laughs> a much wider slide to the slide door. And a much wider slide to the slide, slightly more vertical door. <laughs> Say that three times fast. That's crazy. Uh-uh, I can't, Katie, I can't. I can barely say it one time.
Those are awesome doors, though. I'm so happy to have more sliders. All right, I want to see the color swatches. So let's do this, and we'll just cycle through them. Wait, do we... There's like no dark brown. There's like no dark brown, you guys. Ugh. Why is there no dark brown? Yikes. Okay. I'm not gonna freak out. I'm not gonna freak out. I'm not gonna freak out. Uh -uh. All right, but that is all the doors in the normal small height, short height. Now I'll show you the tall heights. And then I'll just cycle through. So we have the industrial friendly door, which looks just like the other one, only taller. So I'm assuming these all have the same color swatches. That has seven. That has 12. Oh my gosh. That door's gorge. Okay, and I'm gonna go through the color swatches on those too. Cause this one only has seven, which is very similar to its, uh, its brother of the smaller, same as this. So pretty much the same color swatches on here. This one, oh good, we have a dark brown. Wow. Okay, so seven swatches. And then this, I'm pretty sure this is just the same door I was just dying over up here, just in taller and bigger, same color swatches would be my guess. Yeah, looks like the same swatches. Welcome back, James. I just cannot even believe how many doors. I haven't even got to the tall ones. Oh gosh, we don't have any tall ones, okay. So that is all the doors. That's a lot of freaking doors. I love doors too, so I'm glad. Let me see, I don't know how many windows. I might have to stand some windows up on their own. But windows should be the last category we're gonna go through on here, so. I'll just open them all up. Hmm. I'm kind of out of space. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this so we can see everything. A house with nothing but doors. 
<laughs> yes, I love doors. I love doors. Yes, I do. <laughs> Start singing the door song to you guys. All right, we'll start with that and see. Oh, actually, you know what? I have an idea. Uh, let's see how tall I can make it. And how many, <laughs> that's it. How many windows we can fit on this one building? You guys ready? Let's do this thing. And we'll see how many color swatches. Let's see, this one has 12. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I can only get 10 on a row. I love them with the um, trees in them, but that gold one just really shows so nicely. That is really pretty. Oh, look, it's like they have flowers or snowflakes on them. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Jack. I love doors. Yes, I do. I love doors. How about you? <laughs> Hi, Kennedy. How are you? Welcome. All right. So that's 12 swatches. This is 12. I'm going to guess this is going to be the same window. So I'm not even going to put them all out. We'll just put it here so we can see it. This one's seven swatches. So let's do that. Okay. And then this one is also seven, so it's just the taller version. This is the very tall version, and it has seven. So same as the others above it. All right, I'm going to guess we're going to get lucky because... Um, these all have seven and they're all virtually the same window. Um, look at how much fun we can do with the window placement now that we have free window placement, you guys. Have you guys noticed that? That we have free window placement now? That was with the free pack. So they're not snapping them. They still snap to a grid from what I understand, but it is a much smaller, smaller grid. And now we have freedom to do some really creative things with windows. We still cannot do like windows on top of windows on the same wall without um, the clipping, but hey, baby steps. All right, so this is 12. Oh, fun, Sim. That would be really fun. Okay, so that one was 12. This one's 12. I think this is just the larger version of that one. And then this one is also 12, and it is e the even larger version. Then we have the recycled fax machine window. And this one is in 12. Let's actually, let's spin over to this side. Lighting's better anyway. Ooh, 
Love. I am so in love with window placement. <laughs> Thank you, gurus. Thank you. All right. So the recycled fax machine, there may be an outside window. This one's 12 also. So I'm going to assume this is also in the same family of colors. Yeah. So I'll just do four of them. You guys can see the color swatches above it. And then we have an aquarium window by distended window. That's hilarious. And this aquarium window is also 12 color swatches. So there you go on those. And then this is the Southpaw 3. Oh, no, it's another one of those. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so I have a complaint. <laughs> And my complaint is, have a good lurk, Nari. My complaint is when we get windows like this and we don't have a matching one that goes the other direction because I often want to use them together. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I want to have it and then flip this one, but I can't flip it. Are you agreeing, Bet? Right? Like, it's so annoying. I'm just going to cycle through these since I don't really have the space for all these, and they're the same swatches as the others. They're beautiful windows. Beautiful. But. Okay, I'm glad it's not just me because. I am so annoyed by that. We have that other window, the other one like that. I can't even remember what pack it's in and it's so fantastic. And I often want to use them like this and it can't, it can't, can't rotate. Oh, okay. Sorry. I have to complain at least about a couple things. <laughs> it just comes out. I can't help it. I try not to, but it can't help it. Um, I do have to say, I love this window. I am totally having apartment vibes, much like with the Machino Pack windows. This is like heavy, heavy, heavy apartment vibes. Um, again, not going to go through all the swatches because all of these windows have pretty much the same swatches. They're all 12. They're all going to look very alike. Okay. Okay, so here we've got it again. See how it's got the little, the little bump out? Only one direction. But they would look so cool together if we had more than one direction. Oof. That one is huge. Okay, so hold on. I think. Okay, so they did it on this one. Why didn't they do it on the other ones? Theoretically, we could do that. See how it's wedged? But they didn't do it on. Oh, wait, I lied. They did do it on these. On these. Okay, I take back my grumpiness. It's only this one that didn't get a doppelganger. These at least did. So you do really cool. There is a lot of big frame windows in this pack. Yeah, the window I'm thinking of is from City Living. Well, here's the thing. They gave us four windows 
or three windows that could have been that way. And in two of the windows, they rectified it. So I'm happy about that. I do really wish, though, that this one had a doppelganger. So we could do that because that would be really cool. But I guess maybe because the way the glass wraps around, they wouldn't want that. I don't know. But at least they did with these. These will be very cool. And you guys, with that, I think that it wraps up looking at all the build buy stuff in i almost said city living in echo lifestyle or eco lifestyle expansion pack that is crazy that is crazy i am like there's a lot of stuff in this pack and i like i was gonna say 90 percent of it but i'm pretty sure i like everything that's in this pack Okay, maybe 95% because I'm I'm not loving, uh, the more I look at this roof, I'm not loving that. But other than that, I'm totally <laughs> like digging this pack just in, just in the build buy. And you guys know that's what I was super excited about. So, uh, Bat Mav Popo, thank you for the follow. Um, I think what I'm going to do right now is take another quick break, get a drink, go to the bathroom, and then I'll come back and we will do... Um, all the bill or all the buy items no that's next that's next i'm gonna blow this up and we're gonna go through all of the buy items I'm so excited so excited this is crazy not gonna lie just insanity I'm just, I'm just admiring all of the stuff we got in this pack. I just can't believe how much just in the build. I love expansion packs because we do get a lot in expansion packs. So I really, I do have to say I love it for that sake. Because um, I just love anything new that enhances my, my building. Even though I'm not a great builder, I do love to build. So anything that enhances that just makes me extremely excited.